Hi my friends, I'm Mike and welcome to the Lion's Lounge. I'm glad you can join me today because we need to figure out which one of us is Nosia. It's not me, so it's gotta be you. So sit tight and grab a drink because we're gonna dive into this game. So these past few months, I've been really busy. So busy that I haven't had a boatload of time to sink into a long and involved game especially one where I'm chained to a console, which is luckily where Nosia came in. If you've ever played the party games Werewolf or Mafia, Nosia follows this same set of rules. Only instead of you playing against real people, you're playing against a series of CPU characters that, like you, change their roles and alliances each game. The goal being that if you are not Nosia, to uncover who is and have them cryogenically frozen before they outnumber you as their goal, and yours if you are Nosia, is to try to convince everyone else that they're human. What makes this version of Werewolf interesting is that this constant loop of you playing multiple games is canonically part of the story, with you and one of the characters, Setsu, being the only individuals aware the loop is occurring and are trying to figure out why. With each game, you start to learn more and more about the characters, their pasts, relationships, likes and dislikes, and the more familiar you become with them, the more you're able to hone in on what side they're on at any given moment, which is further aided by them each possessing a certain amount of skill in certain aspects. Take Setsu for example. While they have mostly balanced abilities, they're often targeted by the rest of the group due to having a very low amount of stealth. The opposite of someone like Kukrushka, whose shy and cute demeanor easily wins people over to her side and often shields her from scrutiny making it very difficult to vote her out. Rakio, on the other hand, is extremely showy, but can be difficult to know whose side they're on as they very often lie about what role they have in a game, similar in a sense to SQ, who's also a performer, but the opposite extreme, where she loves to offer help to multiple people, but will easily abandon them at the drop of a hat. And then there's Yuriko, who I can only describe as chaos incarnate, Anyone who's played enough of Nosia knows that Yuriko seems to be on her own side and fear when she's against you. Luckily though, this is where the core progression system of the game comes in. After each game, you're awarded experience that you can invest in one of your key attributes, such as being able to detect lies easier, convince everyone to get on your side, or evade being targeted. And after certain milestones in these attributes, you'll also unlock abilities that will greatly aid you in each round. So when you first start, you may find it's hard to convince anyone to vote for your target. But eventually, given enough strategy, you can sway the crowd in your favor without drawing too much attention to yourself. So now you may be thinking this game sounds intriguing, but is it really that addictive and easy to play? I'll admit before I got it, I was skeptical. But after playing a few rounds and starting to understand how it worked, I was hooked. I've easily sunk an hour or two late into the night just telling myself over and over, just one more game, only for five more to go by. And because of how fast paced it is, you'll be surprised how much you can sink into Nosia. So if this at all interests you, give it a shot. And the fact that it's on Switch, its portability really lends itself to it. So for today, I luckily happened upon a recipe called the Imposter. This cocktail is basically a very mellow version of a Bloody Mary. And from the ingredients, you'd get that, but when you look at it, you wouldn't think it's a Bloody Mary, hence the Imposter. And in my case, I wanted to make a frozen variation to go with the whole theme of freezing the Nosia. So this one's gonna be made a little bit differently than how I usually do it. To start, take a cocktail shaker and add three cherry tomatoes sliced in half. Then add three basil leaves and gently muddle in the bottom of the glass. Next add an ounce or 30 milliliters of simple syrup. Then an ounce or 30 milliliters of lime juice. And then two ounces or 60 milliliters of a London dry gin. And lastly, just a dash of Tabasco sauce. Add some ice to your shaker and give it a very quick shake. You don't need to shake this for very long because we're gonna strain it and then blend it. So now double strain this into a blending cup. Then add some crushed ice and blend for about 12 seconds. Then just pour this into a coupe. And for garnish, I'm gonna use a basil leaf and a tomato. And there you have my cocktail adaptation of Nosia. Cheers. Yeah, this drink is 
very misleading. So by just looking at this, you'd probably expect it to be a margarita where it's sweet and boozy. And it is sweet, but it's also spicy because of that Tabasco. And then you get the basil notes, which are very strong, but they're not overly powerful. And in fact, this is actually a lot more pleasant than I thought it was going to be. If you're wondering about the tomato, it does not taste like tomato juice. I feel it just gives this a little bit more salty and sweet notes that combine well with the simple syrup and the lime juice. Overall, if you gave me this, I would probably just think it's a margarita variation, and I'm not knocking that. It's very good. Plus, I really just like the presentation of the frozen drink with the basil leaf popping out and just that tiny bit of tomato right there. So today we talked about Nocia and made a cocktail inspired by it, which I highly recommend you give the game a shot if you can. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. If you have any cocktails you'd like me to make from your favorite series, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see what I make outside this channel, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Space Lion or Instagram at mr.spacelion. But thank you so much for stopping by the Lions Lounge. I've been your bartender, Mike, and I hope to see you next time.